Welcome to Balance 22. My name is Shelley, I'll be taking you through this workout. And remember, you take low options and reduce it down if you need to. So let's start by finding our center. Let's tilt our hips forward and back. Once you get the forward and back, find the middle, hold it. Side bend for two. Reach down to the knee and rise, other side. So we're keeping our hips still, just tilting from the waist. Now we're going to speed this up and reach out to the side. Reach and in, other side. Try and keep the hips as still as possible and just reach from the waist. Now let's do some arm floats, two and two, just up to the shoulders and back down. So from the side, it looks like this. Couple more here. It's easy to the sea. It's easy to tease. Now we're going into bow and arrow. So we come up and that hand comes back for two and bring it back. Other side. So again, hips stay square to the front. And we're rotating the upper body. Excellent. Let's go back to the side then. Two and two. Reach for the knees. Other side. Just warming up our middle. Feeling the stretches. Speed it up. Reach it out. Reach and back. Well done. Back to the arm floats, two and two. Out and down. Remember to tuck that hip under. And keep the abs nice and tight. One more. Excellent. Back to the bow and arrow. Pull and release. Okay, let's lean to the side, two and two. Reach down to the knee. All right. Now this round, we're going to start to build up a little. So you can stay with what we've been doing, or you can come with me. Now we're going to lean to the side, the arm over the top. Over and in. And if it's too much, you stay with reaching the same arm out as we did before. Try and keep the hips as still as possible. Excellent. Arm lifts. If you wish, you can start to lift the heels as well. So a little bit more. Adding in balance. Let's do bow and arrow. Pull it back. And release. All right, back to that side bend, down to our knees, slowly and controlled, keeping the hips nice and still. Now when we reach over, if you want to make it bigger, you can step out to the side, let's give it a go, out and in. Remember, you can stay with any of the other options we've done. You can take out the footwork and you can reach with the same hand. One more. Excellent. Let's foot pedal. Up, up. Pushing the ball of your foot into the floor. Lifting up the heel. Pushing it forward. 
warming up the ankles and the toes and the feet. Welcome to our second mobilization track. Now, if you imagine a full squat being your thumb in line with your knees, we're just gonna go halfway down. So let's set that up. I'm gonna go sideways so you can see the moves. Feet under the hips are slightly wider. We're gonna do a half squat, two and two. Down, down, up, up. So let the hands just float over the knees. Let the bum push back and down, knees over the toes. Go down and hold. Now if you want a little bit more, we can add a pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Now we're going to do a toe tap repeater. Let's go. Out, in, out. In. Keep your standing leg bent. And if you need to hold on for balance at any time, you do that. Now we're going to slow it down and go out for two. Out, out, bring it back in. Excellent. Do that again. Let the arms go naturally. Okay, take it out, lift it up. Out, lift, down, bring it back in. Do that again, out, up, down, and in. Two more. Excellent, take the foot back out and pulse, pulse. So your hands can be on your hips, they can just be down or you can be holding on, it's your choice. Squeeze your glute, keep that standing leg bent. Nearly there. Well done, release it off, shake it out. Ooh, <laughs> burning standing leg there. Okay, now we're gonna go on to the other side, but we're not gonna do the squats. All right, we've done that. So make sure your knees are slightly bent. Step back, toe repeater, straight in, back, in. Make sure that standing leg is bent and the hips and shoulders are square to the front. All right, slow down, two and two. Out, out, in, in. Remember, if your balance is off, that's okay. Just grab onto something. Now we're gonna take it out and lift it up. Out, lift, down, and in again. Let's go. One more. All right, take it out and pulse. We go, pulse, pulse. Ooh, remember, hands can be anywhere that is comfortable for you. Ooh, nearly there, nearly there. Four, three, two. Well done, release, shake that off. Ooh, okay, we've got one little bit left. Just some squats, but they're full range. So let's set up and go down, down, up, up, down, down. Couple more, couple more. Give me one more, please. Well done, shake that off. Give yourself a bit of a rotation to release. Stretch out your legs if you need to and we'll get ready for the next one. Welcome to track three, our balance track. Now you can hold on if you want to. It's advised in some of this. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what we're going to be doing. So feet under the hips. 
Tail tucked under. We're going to lift up the front leg. Two, two. Up, up, and down. Let's do that again. So just the knee, feel it in the thigh. Keep your standing leg soft. Now bring it up and hold it up. So, oop. Ooh, I don't realize how hard it is just to hold up one leg. So we're going to tilt forward, but keep the leg up. Hinge hip. Down, down, and up. Yeah, so it's like we're on a seesaw. Our hinge is our hips. Now stay here. We're going to squeeze the foot to our bum. Squeeze and release. So we're not trying to straighten the leg at all. We're just going back to normal. Or where we were when we started. Standing leg slightly bent. Okay, hold it here. Now pulse it. Up. Up. Squeeze the glute. Push that foot up towards the ceiling. Well done. Release that off. Shake it off. We're going to change sides. So up for two. And down for two. Keep the hips and shoulders square to the front. Now bring it up and hold it up. Hold. Remember, that standing leg is soft. Now are we ready for that hip hinge? Keep the leg where it is, but let's tilt. Bring it with us. Down. Down. Up. Up. Yeah, so it's like we've got a pivot pin in our hip. This one we stay leaning forward. We squeeze our foot in. In, out. Okay, are we ready? Let's pulse it up. Up towards the ceiling. Feel it. Well done. Bring it down. Come into first position. Heels as close as possible. Heel lift for two. Up. Up. Down. Down. Only come as high as you can. Stay on the balls of the feet if that's where you are. Or onto the toes if you like. We're going to add the arms in. Just to float up towards the shoulder height. And back down. Extra movement means extra concentration, extra core engagement, extra balance. Now you can stay with this, or we're going to come up and hold it up. Up. Now if you need to bring your hands out into second position, that's fine. Or you can keep them here in first. Well done. Bring it down. Lift up for two. Just the feet. Bring back the arms. Short around this time. You should feel the muscles engaging. Stay with this. Or come up and hold up.
slow down, release that off. Give it a shake. Oh, legs definitely burning now. All right, give it rotation. Release off your back, release off any stress that you had from balancing. Shake all the way through, rotate, and we're gonna get ready for our next track. We're moving into our transition track. You might want to mat from now on because we are going to be moving down to the floor. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. So move to the side because we're going to be using the length. Now remember guys, you take low options if you want to in this round. Let's get the feet under the hips. We're going to roll down super slow. Start with the heads and the shoulders. So about halfway. You can bend the knees if you want to bend the knees to reach the floor. Tuck the head in. Now roll up. Same speed. Go down halfway. Each vertebra. Last thing to come up is your head. Alright, let's go back down. Remember head, shoulders, each vertebra. Excellent. Keep going down. Going down a little bit faster. Hands are coming out. We're coming to all fours. Lift your knees. Two, two. Up. Up. Down. Down. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Excellent, keep the knees down, tricep press. Down we go for two, and then up. So feet stay on the floor, shoulders are coming towards the hands. Keep the elbows nice and tight to the ribs. We're going to go down one, up three, so fast, and then slow. Do that again. Push through the palms of your hands. Give me one more. Okay, we're going to go back to the knee lifts. Two, two, tuck the feet under, up, up, down, down. One more. Okay, we're going back to the tricep press. Two, two. Now if you'd like, you can come into the three-quarter position. It's up to you. Keep the elbows in and the feet down. Maybe you can stay here. Down one, up three, down. Slow. One more, one more. Excellent. Now we're going to walk our feet out into a plank position. And stay under the shoulders if you like. You can come down to the knees. Make sure that your bum is pressing forward and the hips make a nice straight line. If you like, you can tap it out. Tap. Well done. Come back to all fours. We're going to thread our hand through the hole and stretch out our shoulder. Well done. Switch over. 
push the hand through and relax. Keep the bum high and thread it through. Well done. Up we come. Just sit back on your feet and release off your wrists. If you like, you can go prayer, reverse prayer, or you can alternate. Well done. We'll get ready for the next one. Okay, from here, we're just going to straighten up that leg. Feel the stretch in our hamstrings. Hold the leg above or below the knee. It's up to you. I apologize if I start singing. I love this song. Now we're going to circle our foot. One, two, three. Other direction. Eight, seven. Oh. I can feel this movement all the way through the lower part of my leg. Fantastic. Let's switch. The other leg comes up. Nice straight leg if you can. Hold a bubble below the knee. If the foot starts to shake or you feel overstretched, release it a little. Let's rotate that for eight, seven. We are warriors. Other way. Okay, foot down. Let's bring both knees in. Give them a hug. Oh. If you like, you can do a little rock side to side. Okay, feet down. We're going to go two two to the side. Other side. Keep the shoulders down. Your hips will lift slightly as we rotate. It's not about getting the knees to the floor. Okay, now it is your front leg to the floor. Other leg, bring it up, hold on to it. Bring it down. If you wish, you can straighten. Shoulders stay on the floor. Now we take that foot over the other way. Knee comes up. Let it go out to the side. Feel the stretch all through the inside of the leg. Excellent. Bring it back in. Let's go to the side for two. And back to the middle. So both knees now. Okay. Now the back knee goes down to the floor. Bring the other knee up. Pull it down, keep the shoulder down. And if you've got room, you can straighten that leg. Well done. Now take it the other way. Feel the stretch through the inside of the leg.
Well done. Bring the knees in. Up we come. Onto hands and knees. Okay, so take your time rolling up off the floor and onto your hands and knees. Take your time rolling up off the floor and onto your hands and knees. Take your time. We're going to be setting up hands under the shoulders, knees under our hips. So a nice tabletop position on all fours. We're going to do a cat cow. Pull the rib cage up and down. You go at your pace. Let the head and the hips tilt, but not too much. Okay, bring one foot forward, other foot stays back, nice and long. See if you can get your bum on the floor, chest lifted. And if you like, you can come down. Alright, back onto all fours, back into that cat cow. So set yourself up, and off we go. Really feel the stretch, inverse and converse on the back. Well done. Other leg comes forward. Slide it back, chest lifted. And if you like, lean forward for a deeper stretch. Well done, let's slowly bring it back. We're gonna come up to standing. One foot forward, push yourself up. Give me some shoulder rolls. Deep breath in as you come up. Breathe out as the shoulders go down. Wonderful. One hand up. Let it drop between the shoulder blades. Other hand, just pulls it gently towards the ear. Well done, let's switch arms. The other arm drops back. And gently pull it towards our ear. Try and keep the hips and shoulders square to the front. Excellent. Release that off. Open up your arms. Open up your chest. Bring your hands behind. Ooh, squeeze the shoulder blades and elbows together. Bring on one arm across. Let's stretch out the shoulders. Other arm. Wonderful. Let's roll the shoulders again. So breathe in. And out. Up we go again. One more for me here. Well done. I really hope you enjoyed balance today. If you have any questions or you'd just like to reach out for me for any reason at all, please don't hesitate to do so either through my website or my Facebook page. If you have any questions at all, please contact me. And I hope to see you again very, very soon.